So hi guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can install Vulkan API and make your Redmi Note 3 gaming ready. So the Vulkan API doesn't bring a lot of changes. It's just a new API support for OpenGLS and the funny part over here is the developer has released some zips so you can flash it on any Nougat uh, ROM like the Resurrection or everything. But also he has made the Lineage OS compatible with it. So I directly flash the Lineage OS, go to the Vulkan Caps Viva. As you can see over here, Vulkan is up and running. And it's very nice thing that uh, such a 10,000 rupee device can do such things. Like Vulkan API is only like given to the devices which are higher top end like Snapdragon 820 or some shit. But these are some libraries ported from the Mi 5. I don't have some games to showcase right now but I'm going to tell you how you can get a very nice performance out of it and make it very powerful device. And to do that you have to just install this ROM and install a custom kernel called Redon and download a kernel auditor. Now if you are just searching like uh, asking about the battery life, battery life is still great. This is a 4000 million amp battery and you can extract most out of it still after booting it on a performance mode and you daily don't need a performance mode. You have to install a custom kernel called Raiden. Now this is just simple. Let me just show you. Just boot in your top recovery just like that. I have already pressed my power and volume up. As you can see I am right now in the recovery. You have to just install a custom ROM of Lineage OS with the Vulkan API or you can just flash the zip like this Vulkan and you can get your Vulkan API on your custom ROM. Just uh, search the zip for the kernel as you can see Raiden Kinzo just confirm to flash. There is the Aroma installer as you can see. I have FPC so my fingerprint scanner is working but uh, the thing is uh, there is a workaround. It doesn't uh, like work like passive as before. You have to touch your lock button and then touch your fingerprint in order to unlock. Just set it to permissive. If you want double tap to wake it's just like a thing. Uh, if you have your device locked you can just double tap it to unlock. You don't have to touch your lock button. I had rather have it turn off because we can turn it on with the kernel auditor app just go for overclock it's not a huge overclock and it's totally stable just go for the gaming config disable the hot plug go for stock color cause the enhancer color has a weird kind of uh, contrast and it might seem look like the display is very dark so i will just go for the stock colors just reboot the system the device has been booted with the kernel installed just go to the kernel auditor you can download it from the play store it's free go to the cpu over here apply on boot you can it's already selected to the top s overclock just select performance over here go down over here select performance for the second core go to the gpu you governor just select for the performance mode nothing to change over here go to the screen if you like some colors you can adjust the saturation to 45 or something it will give you very rich colors but the blue will appear a bit dark so i will not recommend that you can also increase a bit of screen value so that display appears a bit bright and be sure to apply and boot over here uh, wake now here you have the option to double tap to wake but i will not enable it sound battery nothing to change over here it's just fast but if you want a usb fast charge and it works just definitely fine go to the profile add your profile create new but as you can see i have already created a profile so i will not i just thought of a random name over here just go back and your device is already on a performance mode but if you want the system level performance just go to over here battery select on uh, that just set it for the performance mode now here is all the performance you can extract from this uh, device you can actually overclock but i will not like recommend for the battery consumption and the overall usage but if you want some performance i don't have a vulcan games over here right now like vulcan exclusives nfs low limits vain glory but i will give you some antudo benchmarks so here is the antudo benchmark of a normal redmi note 3 just everything on stock my ui it scores around 76k a very nice score for a 10,000 rupee device and let's just see what it scores after the vulcan api and our optimizations take me away from home Show me all the places I've never known And we'll chase the night Race all of these broken dreams in flight And we'll fly
The score it has achieved just unbelievable with the help of Vulcan API. Just say this. 87.8k dude what a 10k rupees device can achieve this performance with <laughs> very hot it's a really very warm right now cause i have done many things right now uh, with checking the vulcan api i did some browsing uh, showed you guys and this device is up for many time and the battery percent it only dropped from 5 percent to 70 till the whole video and we did some heavy stuff and 87k not at all bad it's uh, almost above a galaxy note 5 yes Galaxy Note 5 scores are 83k, it scored on 87k, pretty good and I am pretty sure if this device was cool it could uh, almost go above the Huawei P9. So guys, thanks for watching, this was a little video on how you can get the Vulkan API on Redmi Note 3, hope you guys enjoyed and if you want more tips and tricks of Redmi Note 3, please subscribe to the channel and peace.